hi it's legionero back with another video if you are new here welcome if you are not new here welcome back um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. So today I want to do a quick pattern haul. Um, it's going to be quick because I don't have that many patterns. Um, so I want to go through those really quick with you. So the first one is Vogue 1929. Since my car was sick, uh, mommy went to Joanne during the Vogue. I think it was Vogue and Butterick that was on sale. Um, she went to that sale and she picked this up for me, um, this Vogue 1929. And I do believe this was a recent Sew Your View pattern. Um, if you don't know what Sew Your View is, it's ran by That So Monica. And once a month, she'll pick a pattern and you make that version of your pattern and post it throughout the month. Um, she does, she does the big five. Yeah, the big five now. Um, she also does indie patterns. She may have some pattern designers take over for the month, take over the Instagram for, for the month. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, if you, you know, like things like that, you may find some patterns that might make you think out of the box, may um, test your sewing skills, different things like that. So I'll link Sew Your View in the description box below so you can check out the different things that they've been doing. And um, they've been doing it for a while, so it's pretty neat. Oh, let me show you the line drawing drawings. There we go. And it has some detail here. You can't really tell on the pattern envelope in the front because um, the fabric they use is solid fabrics, but there's some type of detail here. I think it's cute. And then there are the pants. All right, next up, Simplicity 9694. So of course I got this pattern for the fanny pack. I think they call it a crossbody bag. Um, here on the pattern and then i'll see if mommy wants the rest of it um so she can make one of these for my dad this is for um a younger boy i'm not sure if any of the boys in my family are um in this size range maybe maybe two possibly um my great two great nephews might be in this size range but I'll let her decide whether she wants to do that or not. Um, but I'm definitely um, going to cut the fanny pack pattern out of it and then fold the rest up for her. Hope, I'm, I know it's not going to work that way, but I hope I was hoping that the fanny pack would be on a separate page, <laughs> but it's probably not. <laughs> Y'all know it's hard when you unfold the pattern out of these envelopes it's hard to get it back to the way it was it's impossible um well, it might not be impossible but who knows um, but here are the line drawings <laughs> right and they have different sizes look like of the fanny pack and different sizes for the hats um so i do want to make the hat as well right um and this is simplicity 9694 I guess the hat is just a matter of me finding fabric for it. All right. So this next one is Simplicity 8560. This is a sports bra pattern. Um, I do like wearing sports bras. I don't like underwire. So if I, I'm not buying a sports bra, I'm buying one of the bras that doesn't have any underwire or anything in it. But I saw this pattern and I thought that it was really cute. Um, the different versions of this sports bra and it says this has every cup size for every band size so here are the line drawings here on the back and i do like the openings that's on the back as well all right and again that's simplicity 8560. next up is simplicity 9684 right this is a coat and jacket pattern with different length variations to it um 
I was gonna make a dress with the Minerva fabric that I got, but after talking to mommy, we felt like um, a jacket or something along those lines would be a much better fit for that fabric that I have. Um, and I'll show you the fabric and everything in a separate video. So I do think I'm going to make this view um, with the Minerva fabric that I have. Right, and here are the line drawings. Okay. And that's 96.84. And last but not least, I got 96.87. This is a Mimi G pattern. Um, when she first posted this, I went, ooh, that's cute. <laughs> so, um, of course, I had to grab this. Um, when Simplicity went back on sale. I think Simplicity was on sale the weekend she posted it, but they hadn't put the new patterns out yet. And my car was sick, so <laughs> couldn't go out and get it, but I have it now. Not sure if I will make the um, poncho or not. I'm not a poncho person, but I definitely do like this in the pants. So the top and the pants. I think it's super cute, cool. I think it's um, pretty neat. Probably can put some snacks right there. <laughs> I said snacks. <laughs> right? Here are the line drawings. Here are the line drawings on the back. I saw something online um, where they call these parachute pants. I can't remember if I was watching a TV show or a commercial or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, saw someone with some pants sort of like this. And then they had some like big uh, cargo pockets on the front. It was really, really cute. All right. But then this is Simplicity 9684. All right. So those are all of the patterns that I have. Um, told you to be really quick. Um, I didn't see too much in the Simplicity release that I um, that caught my eye, but those few things there mostly the fanny pack and then the mimi g pattern all right so question of the day um do you celebrate um, the upcoming holiday christmas and if you do what are some traditions that you and your family share all right um back in the day <laughs> when i was um a child um, mommy used to read um the night before christmas to us um, because we, you know, we were excited. It was Christmas Eve. We wanted to open our presents. So, um, she would <laughs> make us get into bed and, um, and I say us, I'm talking about my nephew. My nephew was born when I was eight. Although when he was born, my Christmas got a little light. <laughs> I still blame that for him, even though I'm in my forties and he's in his thirties. <laughs> I blame him for my light Christmases. Anyway, <laughs> um, you know, she would tell us to get in the bed and she would read towards the night before Christmas to us. I don't know if I ever made it through the whole story. I, the next thing I know, it was they were telling us to get up to come open our presents because I think they were more excited than us to see the look on our faces when we opened our presents. Um, so, yeah, that was a tradition that um, we had when I was younger. Um, Mommy would read towards the night before, towards the night before Christmas, <laughs> right? Um, let me know if you have some traditions, um, if you celebrate um, the holiday. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.